Okay, this is more on the uh, Tesla Wireless Radiant Energy Transmission Project that a bunch of us at the Energetic Forum are working on. And um, I started working on the receiver part of it. I showed a video showing the transmission of it the other night uh, with my little uh, 555 timer uh, CFL unit and driving out the Radiant Energy out of the little ball there over to this uh, high voltage tester and uh, this is the circuit um, you probably can't see this very well it is posted at the energetic form it's uh, a circuit that simply it takes the pulse out of a 555 timer puts it into a couple of power transistors and that goes into an ignition coil right here that puts out uh, this one here puts out high voltage and then uh, irradiates it out or puts it into the CFL. Now I've got everything set up here as the CFL part of it. The CFL is running and the transmitter is transmitting energy too and that's voltage that's coming into the um, the um, let's see if I can get the light on this here. That's the voltage coming into the receiver and that's the receiver coil right there and uh, I've got a little uh, diode here on the negative side which on the receiver is reversed, which is very strange. Um, the energy comes across the air, hits this, goes into the uh, secondary coil, and out the primary coil, and it's reversed. And I thought that was very strange, but it, it makes sense if you think about it. But anyway, I am working with uh, Nat's diagram here, trying to decipher how he has done it. And I'm a long ways off, but I'm on this receiver part of the circuit right here. And uh, I'm nowhere near to getting anything to light up. I'm, s I'm simply down to low voltages right now. But let me show you what I've, I've um, done here, which is real interesting. If you crank this up, you send lots more energy across the air to the receiver. And the other day when I was playing with this, I got big, big sparks off of the deal here, the little ball with the negative, and it was a lot of fun, all the way up until the time I blew that thing up. And then I thought, well, I'll just put it back together again, and I'll, I'll be a little bit more careful. Then I proceeded to blow it up again, and it was expensive, and it took all day to repair it. So I have everything turned down today to show this. I've got the earth ground set up. It goes to the... Um, negative part of the the CFL driver it goes into the earth ground now the bulb is connected to the positive high voltage lead coming out of the coil like this that's inside that box and if I crank up the power this will get brighter and you'll see the voltage climb on the receiver I'm going to do this very carefully hopefully I won't break my machine here there, there goes the the high voltage tester, and you, as it as it gets higher in vo in uh, speed and rate, that's more and more juice coming out of my my driver. And let me let me show you the meter as I crank it up too. And there goes the meter on the voltage on the receiving side. So um, this was something that, uh, like I say, I have to be really careful with because the way this circuit is, I don't have enough protection on it, and I blew up um, four or five parts each time I I did that. But this is something else that uh, is very interesting. I'm going to turn this up just enough to make the power uh, sensor go off. And then I'm going to turn the frequencies, and this will make it go off or make it go on. You can hear it. Also the light here, you'll see the light get brighter or dimmer. Now this is the trans sister part right here same thing and it's these harmonic frequencies these resonant frequencies which we're working on right now to get the right frequency to make this whole thing happen but uh, one more thing if I take away the bulb here and just drive this without the bulb I get a lot more power now you'll see the power over here on this thing I'm going to take the bulb away Look at the power I'm now transmitting, and I'll crank this up a little bit here, too. There she goes. Alrighty. 
Let me dial this on back down again here. I really, really, really don't want to have to rebuild this thing. It was a pain. But anyway, that's what I'm at right now. Is um, It is working for me. It's just working on a smaller scale than uh, Nat and Bodkins. I'm way behind those guys, but I'm getting there. Anyway, the, the energy is going from one side across to the other side. Now, I am using a ground wire right here that's connecting the ground. If I disconnect the ground, watch my power. It goes bye-bye. Trying to work with one hand here. Okay, there goes the power. It goes almost as nothing. But I'm going to crank this back up. And there goes the power again. And this isn't even connected. See, the negative is not connected. But I can, I can transmit this through the air with no ground lead on that at all. This is strictly energy that's coming th right through the air here from one side of the equation to the other side with nothing in the middle. It's just going right across. You can see that's coming across. Okie doke, that's what we did for today. That's the phase two of the Tesla's wireless radiant energy transmission project.